Hello all. Today let us discuss a very interesting topic in Spring. Spring retryable. So in general, what do you mean by retry? You try to perform an operation and if the operation is not successful, you generally try to re-attempt the same operation. The same retry logic and concept is applied in Spring retryable interface. So what does Spring Retriable Interface do? Spring Retriable Interface automatically retries to perform the failed operation. So these are some of the common methods used to configure the Retriable Interface. Back off to configure the back off properties. Exclude when certain exceptions occur, do not perform the retry operation. Include when certain exceptions occur, perform the retry operation max attempts number of times the retry operation has to be performed when the operation fails value value and include are almost same where you mention the exception and when such exception occurs the retry will perform its operation recover recover is used along with retryable interface so whenever an operation is retried and when max attempts are exhausted the recover method will take place so it's generally like you are trying to retry an operation for the maximum of four attempts and the operation failed for consequently for the four attempts then this recover method will get executed after that so this is an overview of Spring Retriable. So to summarize, Spring has a concept called Retriable, which retries the failed operation again to the maximum number of attempts specified by the developer. And we can also specify the time gap between each retry operations. And we are also going to use the recover method to show once all the retry operations are exhausted, the recover method will get executed. So we are going to see a practical example using Spring Boot and RESTful web services to implement the Spring Retriable interface for one of our REST endpoint. So let's go for an example and I'll explain you how Retriable works in a Spring Boot RESTful web services example. So this is our application spam.xml and I have included the Spring Retry dependency here and in the spring boot main application have declared enabled retry annotation to indicate the spring boot application that at retriable interface has been used and that might be situations where the retry operations has to be performed and this is our rest controller where i have given the base endpoint as rest retry and here i have included two endpoints retry and retry exclude let me just explain you both the endpoints and then we can see the demo. The first endpoint at retry and I have implemented the retryable interface and here I have given the value as exception dot class means any exceptions happen in the below code the retry will take place and I have given the maximum attempts to four and the label is mainly used for report generating purposes and the back off I have set the delay for 5 seconds that's each retry operations will happen the time delay of 5 seconds and here I have printing the retrying attempt as a sysout for the console output and I have thrown an automatic exception so what happens when I try to hit this endpoint the retry attempt and this code will get executed for 4 times once all the max attempts has been exhausted then it will come for this recover method so all the four attempts are done then it will get execute this method and it will print retry failure one of the important point to note here is this method retry endpoint and recover both should have the same return type if the return types are different the recover method will not get executed and the next endpoint retry exclude so this endpoint will not perform the retry operation whenever the automatic exception happens so for this example i am creating automatic exception and i am catching this automatic exception so whenever i hit this endpoint it will first execute this code it will face an automatic exception and since we have given the value to be excluded the automatic exception this retry operation will not happen so other things are same with the max attempts of 4 and the time delay for each retry is 5 seconds and as per this code 
the retrace should not happen for this endpoint and retrace will happen for this endpoint and this endpoint also once max attempts has been exhausted it will execute the recover method now let us see the demo for this now let us run this spring boot application run as So our application has been started. I am going to consume the endpoint slash retry. From the console, you can see it's trying to retry the same operation as it's throwing an exception. Yeah. So what actually happened is like when we try to consume this endpoint retry. We have already implemented the retryable interface and we have mentioned whenever any exception happens perform the retry operation. So first it's tried retrying attempt it throwed an exception so it has executed four times since we are given the max attempts to four. Once all the four attempts are exhausted the recover method has been executed. So you can note that the both slash retry endpoint and recover method has the same return type and once the max attempts is exhausted the recover method has been executed now let's try to consume the endpoint retry exclude so what actually should happen is since we have excluded the arithmetic exception once this rest endpoint is consumed it shouldn't perform the retry execution so retry should not happen in this scenario so let me just try to execute this endpoint retry exclude As you can see it has given the retrying attempt has been printed in the console and it just showed arithmetic exception will not retry. So the retry attempt has not been executed in this scenario. So this is a very basic example of Spring Boot application with REST endpoint where retryable interface has been implemented. Thank you and have a great day.